I'm moving. I'm living on the top of the mountain now because I don't think I can get back in and go down. So it's going to be, the rest of my show is going to be on top of a mountain. So I hope you like mountains. That's all I'm going to do. And yeah, let's go see some mountain. Get completely. Horrifying. Ten minutes ago, we were down on the ground in the desert. Now, look at this. These trees are like pine trees. Pine trees. California. So crazy. Now that we're back on solid ground, I am starving. Fear really makes you work up an appetite. In the 1920s, Palm Springs had its golden era, and rich people and celebrities, they all made their escape here. This became a resort town. And in this area, there are a lot of charming hotels that reflect that era. There's several that are originals and that celebrities stayed in. This is one of them. <laughs> this is Casa Cody. And we're going to take a stroll in this neighborhood and we are going to have dinner at one of the most famous of these old historic hotels. A lot of these actually started off as homes and were later turned into hotels. Here's another one. I don't know how to say it. Korakia? Another historic one on the must see list. Oh my gosh, I'm dying over that door, it's so awful. It's what, Moroccan, you said? Okay. Yep. It's really good. Cool. It's funky. It really it's is. Funky. <laughs> every, I like funky. Every room is different, and every. Um, you know, a lot of stone in the tubs and stuff like that. Just really goofy stuff. So. Ball here. <laughs> this place is so amazing. Um, apparently, Korakia means crow. And it's Greek. So it's a Mediterranean name. I believe that I was reading that this was originally a home, and it was turned into an amazing hotel. <laughs> to dinner. It is also at another prestigious hotel. And back in its heyday, you had to be invited to stay there. The woman who owned the place, she didn't think you were up to it, up to par. You weren't invited, she'd say there were no rooms. So thankfully that's not the case because I don't know if I'd get an invitation <laughs> for dinner this evening. So I just had dinner at Melvin's restaurant, Ingleside Inn. Frank Sinatra used to come here all of the time. So they have martinis, that's their specialty. I had one in his honor. <laughs> it was really good. I couldn't bring the camera in because it's a really nice place. It's classy, it's lovely, and it's like old school traditional charm. So I didn't want to ruin that with bringing it, whipping my camera out, you know. But I will give you a play by play. <laughs> Martini, excellent, highly recommend it. The soup of the day was black bean delicious for dinner. <laughs> oh my 
gosh. It's pork medallions, jumbo shrimp, and a brandy cream sauce. So good. <laughs> and there were potatoes, seasoned lovely. The carrots were like an orange sauce of some sort. They were sweet, perfect. And oh, I just can't speak well enough of this place. The chef did such a wonderful job. A true master. This is probably one, one of my favorite dinners that I've had on the show so far. So definitely come here if you get a chance. It's uh, not necessarily like a hot, like, lively happening young youthful spot but it's you kind of feel like you're in old hollywood it's it's a cool place and it's a good experience and i highly recommend it but now it's time to go home as usual i'm really full and i'm tired got a little sunburned from our hike today but as always i had a wonderful time and i will see you next week on a golden state of mind